Yo everybody, Broad Road here once again, and welcome back to another episode of Multiverse Wrestling. Now we are mostly through our uh, February event, year two. Six of our eight events have been completed, some in particularly quick fashion, quicker than I thought. But hey, these things happen, squash matches happen, as we all know in wrestling. But, uh, hey, uh, onward and upward. I hope we can... Hope we can still make it to be a successful event. But, meanwhile, our... Our, uh, semi-main event... Of the evening. The King of the Streets match, as... Iggy Koopa, the new King of the Streets, must defend his newfound moniker, newfound hardcore moniker, against Yusuke Urameshi, a true, a true fighter of the streets. Can the Koopa Kid prove that his win wasn't a fluke? Prove that, he, prove that despite, you know, being just one out of seven, you know, typically doofy minions of uh, Bowser Koopa, despite that, can he prove that he belongs in the upper echelon of the of the almighty streets the hardcore streets the grimy streets the filthy streets you know what I'm getting at so without further ado let's get to it forgive me for trying to be the hype man a little bit <laughs> I'm trying my best shot learn learn as I go you know Rolling kick misses. That shop doesn't. And that kitchen sink attack doesn't either. Yusuke took one look at this guy earlier today and said, Wait, this guy thinks he's king of the streets? Really? I bet he won it by accident. I mean, yeah, Yusuke had his own problems last month. Uh, you know, having to uh, er, having to deal with the uh, with the graveyard, trying to earn himself a junior tag team title shot, which he and he did. But still, you know, he's aware of things. He heard about uh, Iggy's new moniker, and uh, not impressed. Not impressed with uh, you know, the Koopa's credentials, so to speak. Yeah, he won the moniker, but has he earned it? As for Iggy, even though uh, none of his other, uh, none of his fellow um, brothers and sister are here in the company with him to you know, yeah. to kind of compete or argue yeah. against him or anything, yeah. he sees this as a chance to propel himself up to you know up to some sort of glory that's outside of his father's shadow. I mean, he's getting somewhere. He's earned himself well. A moniker, not exactly an official championship belt, but you know, here in MVW, it's 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 just as good. We're trying to make it a thing. Running big boot connects, knocking Yusuke straight to the ground, and a side headlock. But Yusuke ain't tapping out, not this soon. Kiryu, 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 Yusuke was just as surprised as anybody else that, that his tag team partner fell so, fell relatively easily to Kiryu. I mean, on one hand, it is Kiryu, but on the other hand, it's he. So, Yusuke feels like it's on his shoulders. It's on his shoulders to keep the momentum going to fight the Raveyard again for the titles. They need a victory. One victory at least. But can he get it? Can he get it along with the King of the Streets title? Some martial arts prowess on display, followed by a running big boot of his own. Single leg drop kick connects.
Falcon Arrow connects. And the Frog Splash burns. Somersault Senton doesn't, though. It, it hits hard. Can Koopa get the pinfall? One, two. Nope. Spinning around with a backslide. One, two, nope. Step up, axe kick. Yusuke did not see that roll up attempt coming, but thankfully for him, it was a rope break. It's up, it's over, it's a stunner, it connects, it's good. Nice pinfall, 2.9. The crowd's going nuts. It's a backslide. One, two, 2.9. Arm ringer kick. He hears the people. He acknowledges the people. Can you stay win here tonight? He's staying down. He, he's staying on mm -hmm. top. It. Oh, it's the Eddie Guerrero special. Will Alfred, will Alfred buy it? Is he buying it? Nope. Batman's butler is just way too smart for this. He hasn't... He hasn't bought even one attempt at the Eddie Guerrero special since this company was formed. Iggy drops both knees. Connects. Yusuke trips up the Koopa. And starts working the legs. And we have a bar brawl. Yusuke wins it with a spin shot to the face. Yusuke gets out of the maneuver Iggy was going for. Probably another Falcon Arrow. Yusuke hits another, another stunner and then a pinfall. Three! Yusuke is now the new king of the streets. He proves that Iggy's win last month was a fluke. Was a total fluke. He could go on to say that should have been Crow that Yusuke was facing for the, for the, for the king of the streets title. But hey, it is what it is. This, this child... This lizard child w had won the title, and Yusuke saw it fit to be the one to challenge and take it from him. And so he did. Nine. The fans are liking it. The fans are starting to like this again. <laughs> and now, for our main event of the evening, we have our heavyweight champion, King K. Rule, versus the Joker. Now, the w if I remember when I booked this, my logic was that, yeah, Joker, Joker and Goodman have a you know a good alliance with the whole Globo Gym thing. Joker agreed to come on as the you know as the obviously corrupt uh, 
head trainer, if you will. But as of late, even with that uh, that tag team victory uh, last month, Joker feels he wants to prove that he's not he's not he's not a psychic, he's not a lap dog. That he he wants to prove that the head trainer position can be just as dangerous as the president of global G president and owner of global gym. He wants to prove. He wants to prove that White and he, when it comes to when they're on their ball, they're equals. There's no leader and follower. There's no head. There's no frontman and sidekick. He wants to prove it. And of course, being the insane nutcase that he is, he wants to prove it by going up to the biggest dog in the yard, or in this case, biggest alligator or crocodile, whatever K rule is, in the yard, and getting it all up in his face. Let's see it. Joker gets the first shot in. Test of strength, and surprisingly, Joker even wins that. Irish with the ropes. The elbow jab is blocked. The suplex attempt is countered by a suplex of K Rule's own. Not, surpri Not surprising that K Rule would, event would eventually and quickly strike back. But again, Joker proves to be a wily one. <laughs> Test the strength. K. Rool wins it with a little bit of a uh, little bit of a bop to the head, which is all he needs considering the size of his fist. thought that this match would have gone one would have gone K rules way right quick but so far Joker seems to be hanging in there but then again considering that all Joker's ever done and you know comics movies video games so on and so forth should we really be surprised at this like his insanity happens to be in a, in some sort of odd way his superpower he can endure a lot, he can dish out a lot. It's like he could It's like he could do quite a bit with physicality because it's insane, he lets him. He doesn't reg it's like it's like he doesn't register pain much. <laughs> I mean, he registers it, obviously. But you know, insanity is as insanity does. Joker goes for a chin lock. K rule's not gonna tap. How about the sleeper hold? Nope. And so they decide to punch each other in the face. But K. Rule wins. Who said gator wrestling was easy? Joker eats a flapjack. Not the edible kind. Close line goes wild and misses, but that knee does not miss. And a chop. Nice bat breaker. Running headlock bulldog. And a drop and a running elbow drop. One wonders how jealous White would get if Joker actually wins this match and earns himself a shot at the heavyweight championship. One also wonders if, you know, we should keep the New Japan rules going. Because, you know, if we do, you know, that's going to lead to, like, rematch city right quick around here. 
what do you guys think? You know, let me know in the comments section. Should we keep playing by New Japan rules? You know, if you beat if you beat the champion in a non-title match, you instantly become number one contender. Or should we just you know only do that occasionally if it fits uh, if it fits like storylines or possible good book ideas? F5 by King K rule. Jeez, that was like what freaking cannonball? Hits Joker head on with that one. Joker gets tossed out of the ring. Joker gets right back in. Clothesline misses. K rule throwing his body way around doesn't miss. One, two, two point nine. But yeah, should we should we keep the New Japan thing going with the rules about championships? Or would you guys suggest? What you guys like something different when it comes to who who gets to earn titles, who doesn't get to earn titles, so on and so forth, that sort of thing. I mean, I think we got a good thing going with the King of the Streets nickname thing, where that's always on the line. Spinning bad drop. Joker goes for the chin lock. Nice, uh, nice sidewalk slam. And a double foot stop to uh, K Rule's sizable gut. But yeah, I'm thinking if we have too many people, like, if we have champions losing in non tile matches all the time, rematch, 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 you know? <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes that works, but how long will it be until that kind of thing gets redundant with you, with you, with uh, with you viewers out there? <laughs> but anyways, anyways, I'll stop rambling about that. I need to, I need to learn to, you know, move on from topic to topic, you know, when the, when the time comes for that. <laughs> Elbow drop off the top from Joker. Double foot stop misses. That headbutt doesn't. Hits the elbow drop again like he was Macho Man, but fails to capitalize on it. <laughs> Running big boot connects, and so does the elbow drop. Can Joker prove that he is, that he is just as much a threat? As White Goodman is. Oh, he eats one hell of a drop, running drop kick from King K. Rool. His entire body weight was behind that one. Joker goes flying halfway across the ring. Both get some serious blows in from that bar brawl. But Joker's up and at him. But the uh, oh, but the elbow drop fails to hit anything. Roll gets put in the corner, and su and uh, Joker gets suplex. Joker's going for it. He ain't letting anything. He ain't letting anything stop him now. Not this far. He wants to prove to the fans at home, the fans in the, st the stadium, K. Rule, everybody else in the locker room, and especially that Batman, that he could he could stand toe to toe with a beast such as this. Although, of course, considering the situation, would Killer Croc take this match the wrong way if Joker were to win it and prove that? He is indeed worthy. Yeah, I can just picture it now. He walks back and he struts back at that freaking Arkham Asylum there. Only oh, to get mad with Killer Croc going, Yeah, what was that, man? You trying to take a shot at me? <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't go so well. Hypotheticals aside, though, K. Rule seems to be get, working his way back up to, up, up to the driver's seat in this match.
That's okay, we're going for it. A spectacular superplex, bringing the Clown Prince of Crime right down to the center of the ring the hard way. But that's not enough. That spin backbreaker also it does some serious damage, especially coming from a guy like him. Irish whip. Malfunction at the junction. Both competitors are down. Joke where they belly to belly, surprisingly. And a shote! Rules uh, feeling it. He's feeling it, all right. He's he feels close to victory. Spinning kick to the face and grinding a scaly elbow in the face of in the face of Joker. Spin that breaker. Hayroll throws his body weight around. Oh, ouch. Inverted suplex there. That's not going to feel good in the morning. Big boot misses, but the headbutt does not. Elbow drop off the top. And a double foot stop. Can Joker capitalize? No, the clothesline misses, and he ends up grappled for his troubles. K. Rule with a shote of his own. But Joker makes him uh, eat defeat, if you will. Two, three. And surprisingly, Joker actually comes up with a win. Real nice surprises tonight, folks. Ninety-six. That should pump our toll rating up just a bit. <laughs> Overall, this should lead to some interesting booking ideas for next month. Hmm. Seventy-seven, huh? Well, could have done better, of course. But, you know, I thought, I thought it was a fun show. And I hope you guys did, too. Well, with that, with that, with that, be, with that being said and done, results before you seen the event. So let's see how we did. Yeah, some fans weren't satisfied. Yeah. Well, hopefully everybody else will be rested enough to have some, you know, tag team matches and stuff in the mix here. Spice it up. At least we profited. Yeah.
Nothing noteworthy happened this month. <laughs> yeah. It's March Madness, ladies and gentlemen. What? Bayonetta joined New Japan. Okay then. That's what you want, Bayonetta. Oh, come on, guys. There's plenty of people to be discovered. You... Man. Adding to the free, adding to the free roster pool is, isn't easy. All right, so, uh, well... I guess these companies are starting to get the idea of hiring fictional characters away from me. <laughs> oh, oh well. Let's see, do 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 That's how I do it, yeah. Do 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 that. Make everything official. One of these times they're gonna one of these times they're gonna strike gold. <laughs> one of these times. Okay, let's try see if there's anybody. Huh, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Still anybody on the lower end here? That can use a bit of a boost. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give Rhino a bit of a boost. He he earned it. Getting getting Beacon Club over by you know letting him show how tough how how much they can endure. Yeah, okay. Okay, that deserves a raise. Okay, what can we do? Get the towels! Damn it. Come on, people. You gotta be hungry. Get the snacks! Get snacks! Get the t shirts. That should do for merch. Hmm. I'll boost this. Easier to scout people. Yeah. Less likely to lose trust. That could be helpful. Ooh. I could use that, but that's pricey. Could level that. I could start leveling at the clinic. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a pricey month. Okay, what's everybody's health at? Hmm, white's neck starting to be in the yellow. Yeah, Joker's neck. Eesh. Good, 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 normal, good, good, normal, good, good, normal, normal. Okay, good. Nobody's nobody's totally beat up. Nobody's condition is poor. Awesome. All right, you know what it's time for. Time to hire somebody. Gotta save first because if I fail, I'm safe scumming. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. Could try Donkey Kong. Add to the uh, Nintendo World Order. Perhaps Iron Man. He he seems to be doing a pretty good. He seems to do a pretty good job. Maybe Iggy might finally accept the contract. I mean, it's not like he. It's not like he. He, he totally sucked around here. He's been doing a good job. You win some, you lose some. You know what? That's oh oh come on! You don't think they don't like? He doesn't like us yet. Yeah, why do you still show up? Why do you still show up? What's? I gotta try. I gotta try DK. Bring him into the Nintendo World Order. Hmm. Middle of the road or throw the book at him? I'll try middle of the road. Hey! Nintendo World Order, you got a new member! Oh yeah, there we go. You got the agile hero. You got the fighting lady of the group. And you got the group's muscle. All that's missing. All that's missing is a certain Italian plumber. Come on, scouts. Let's see if we can track him down. Right then. Let's see, what was I? Well, guess the guess the NWO are the first three-person stable of our teams here. Uh, not counting the no affiliation because they're just on their own, of course. But hey, get you know, hey, the, once these other uh, factions start growing. It'll finally be time for some six-man titles. Trios titles. Whatever kind of titles you prefer to call that, you know. Th those three belts. Okay, let's invite some people. Let's see, do we give... Did we give Vader another try? You know, I could bring Iggy back in as back in as usual. Build up some trust. Yeah, see? Oh, he doesn't like us. Yeah, he still shows up with invites. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Let's <laughs> see what Iron Man's got. Who else to bring in that could that's cheaping up the work? I mean, we are growing. Show up to show up to show. We are growing. Okay, 
Have we forgiven Mega Man yet? Tag team with Iggy. Hey, Lizzie, what's up? Okay. Okay, let's try Darth again. Oh, got another rise everything I did. book this thing. Maybe if we have enough time, we can at least start the first match. Alright. First of all. It's gotta be done. He earned it. For the time being, unless uh, you... Unless, uh, you viewers out there uh, declare otherwise, we're still playing by New Japan rules. And Joker ain't that beat up yet. So he's got himself a shot. Let's hope, let's hope for his sake that White doesn't get too jealous. What will it be, White Goodman? You gotta let your jealousy over your tag team partner's big opportunity get the better of you, or you gotta focus on, you know, the team here. Since the rave yard are, are all ready to rock and roll, it's about time for that title shot against the spirit detectives. Can lightning strike twice, or will the rave yard continue to party on with the undead? <laughs> but the. Uh, like the oddly supernaturally attractive teenage teenage ghouls that they are. <laughs> okay, so that's do, do 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 do. What else we got going on? first time in this company. It's time to do a little, little bit of handicap. Rhino alone versus both members of the Beacon Club. 
He's ticked them both off. He beat Nora. Even though she had a hell of a valiant effort. He beat Crow despite his valiant efforts. But they're persistent. The Beacon Club is persistent. They want to on one. They're like, if he thinks he's so tough, he'll he'll take us both on at the same time. Rhino being Rhino. He's like, yeah, I'll take those odds. So here we are. Handicap match. Next up, who do we who shall we have next? Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm gonna have Iron Man go up against Darth Vader. Let's see that. Opening contest. Mr. Freeze, who's still having a bit of trouble. <laughs> I mean, heck, he needed a rest last month. Against... Put him against Quan Chi. No oh, way. I already did that one a couple minutes, a couple months ago. Too soon for a rematch. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to do rematch Central. against Iggy. How about that? Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds sounds like a fair match. Mr. Freeze is very troubled. Iggy's starting to be quite tr <laughs> quite rocky. I mean, he had King of the Streets title, but then he lost it a month later. Needs to needs to give us, needs to prove himself. This will do. This will do. <laughs> Ember McLean. Let's have her try her luck against the junior heavyweight champion Sailor Mercury. Again with the blue versus blue. I've, I'm, I'm having, a, I'm having quite a bit of blue people floating around this company. <laughs> kind of funny. Donkey Kong. Kiryu or Quan Chi? Or White? I 
Yeah, I'll put my red squad. Next up. The NWO. The other two members of the NWO, I should say. Against the Street Fighters. They had their match against each other, you know, a few months ago. But let's see what happens when one decides, okay, we have we have a fight. Let's parse our differences, see what we're like together. <laughs> I'll work with you. That sort of thing. Which leaves us with the only other option that we have to throw together Carry over a Swipe Goodman. And with that we have our we have our first nine match event. Let me uh, fudge the numbers a little bit. Can we... Hmm. Van Urban? Ooh, we almost make it to full capacity at a medium hall that's in the city. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If I just drop it to 40? the 40 bucks but have it obviously go way over hmm why not why not I can just Let's make some more. I'll just make like a bit more merch, and that'll do it. Okay, I think I think I'm good. I think this is good. I mean, you guys all like this, right? You guys all like this setup. Mr. Freeze versus Ziggy Koopa, both needing to prove themselves a bit, especially Mr. Freeze. Donkey Kong debuting against Quan Chi. Can he prove himself to be a viable member of the NWO? Iron Man vs. Darth Vader. That should speak for itself. Amber McLean vs. Sarah Mercury. Battle, another battle between those that prefer the color blue. <laughs> the NWO vs. Cammy and, Cammy and Rainbow Mika. Kiryu Kazuma vs. White Goodman. Kiryu trying to prove that uh, he's way too good for to be uh, wasting his time at Globo Gym. Beacon Club wanting to prove that they can actually get a win and over Rhino in a two-on-one handicap, and Rhino, being Rhino, of course, accepts the challenge. The Spirit Detectives finally get their junior heavyweight tag team title shot against the Rave Yard. And Joker gets his title shot against King K. Rule in a, in a rematch from last month. That 
being said, I'll confirm it. And, yeah. Cornelius, I got 10 minutes left, so I don't think we're even going to get a chance to actually start the dang thing. In the meantime, I will... Hmm, what kind of... Oh, it's been a couple years. I'll make them... Make some freaking DVDs. Although those are pricey, even well, if we had the 1,000 mark. Yeesh. I'll make some more of these. There we go. That should help profit. I'll save. And you know what? I got like nine minutes. I won't start it. I won't start the first match because hey, I could go overtime. But what I could do is at least see if everybody it if everybody, you know, manages to show up. Because, <laughs> for all I know, somebody could, pull, somebody could pull Mega Man and bail. So, why not? I'll answer that question right now for it. Alright, everybody showed up. Yeah. Dig it! Full house. 10,000 10, people in attendance. And they're just about to see two trouble competitors try and get themselves back on the right path of things. But that shall be next time, fans. As I'm going to end this here, we'll start, Mar we'll start March uh, next episode. But, uh, as always, you know, it's been fun doing this. And I'm hoping, you know, those of you that choose to watch this and have followed along, or maybe just tuning in now, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying this too. I'm learning as I go. I think I'm getting better at this. But, uh, until next time, everybody, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Comments are always nice. Gives me feedback as to what I'm doing, as to how I'm doing, if I'm doing this the right way, so on and so forth. And uh, hey, tune in to the next exciting episode of Multiverse Wrestling, right here on YouTube. Because where else? Catch, catch you later, everybody.